Welcome to the second segment in the Shine series. Hello, I'm Lisa, the heart coach from hearthealing.co.nz. Last week we were talking all about how in order to truly shine and feel free, we need to step past the limitations of our story. Last week I was really inviting you to see your story, to be able to define it into a few key sentences. And I know that you've done that and that that clarity has already created a shift. And today, we're gonna to be talking about really spotting that story, really spotting it in action. Uh, what I love remembering is that the only time we have power is in this moment, right here, right now. This is the only time that we have any power to change. And the problem with our story is that it's so automatic is that when he says that, you say that. When she does this, you'll do that. And you see yourself playing it out time and time again, defending, protecting, sabotaging. And the familiarity of your story is losing its value and it's creating too much pain and that's why you're here with me. Because you're ready to step past it and learn how to shine in your power. So today we're going to be talking about how you can spot your story because we all want to stop it. You don't stop it, you see it. You, you spot it in that moment and in that moment you find other alternatives. You open up to see what possibilities are around you and you're going to spot it replaying. You're really going to be observing how you repeat and it's so important to be compassionate. This story construct is basically a security protocol. Your ego established the ideas about who you are and how life is and how you have to operate in order to survive. It literally ensured your survival. So we don't want to um, judge the story. We don't want to pass it off as some sort of um, degrading limitation. We want to honor it for protecting you, that the circumstances that you were exposed to were harrowing. And in order to survive and step past them, you made conclusions about yourself and life that helped you to feel secure, that helped things make sense. So for the next seven days, I invite you into deep observation. It's almost like you can take a position just behind your head, a little bit higher, and I want you to be able to sit there as often as you can and watch yourself. Watch what you're doing, watch what you're saying, and I want you to spot the story, ah, you just said it then. No, I don't really like my hair, it needs a cut right now, as soon as someone gives you a compliment. Someone um, tells you that there's a job opportunity going within your company. Uh, you'd be really great for it. Go on, put your resume in. Oh, I can't do that. No, I've never done that before. I, I won't be able to do it. And the, the most powerful way to spot the this, this story is to be able to feel the pain that erupts in your heart when you keep feeding that story back to the opportunities and possibilities that life is bringing to you. I just know that the awareness and discovery that you're going to cultivate over the next seven days will literally open your eyes. It'll be fascinating. It's so curious to be able to see how when our story is in operation, we're literally being puppeteered. We do not have freedom. We have to say what we've always said. We have to do what we've always done. It's a compulsion. Our story is a compulsion but only because we don't know who we are outside of our story. And I know that as you can spot your story in action, it's gonna open you up to realizing the truth of who you are. And I send my love and my excitement for you as you deepen into this journey. I know you can. I know it will be empowering. And I know that it will create shifts that will bless every area of your life. I send my love, Lisa the Empress.